Good Friday evening, Southeast Texas. Some of us were lucky. Modeling was too strong, obviously, with the high still staying over our area. Well, it's moved out, and that's one of the reasons we saw uh, widely scattered showers and storms over mid and south counties. Certainly some welcome relief there. We'll try to work on it tomorrow evening for more activity over a broader area. So we do expect storms coming up either late afternoon Saturday or more likely Saturday evening could be strong. Otherwise, lower chances coming up Sunday through the first half to half of next week. The big change in the forecast is in uh, Thursday and Friday of next week. We're going to be watching a trough of low pressure come out of the Gulf of Mexico with uh, moisture that ought to uh, interact with daytime heating to give us scattered showers and storms. Then it's back to hot and dry for the most part the following weekend. Otherwise, tomorrow during the day, that's until about 6 p.m., 20 to 30 percent coverage. After 6 p.m., that probably will jump to a 40, 50, maybe 60 percent coverage tomorrow evening. And again, with storms developing in temperatures of 97, 98, maybe around 100, they'll produce wind. So be on guard on that. Otherwise, a heat advisory will be in effect and that UV index will be extreme. So above normal temperatures are expected the next 10 days, both on highs and lows. However, we may be closer to normal Friday and then on Sunday and Monday mornings across the area. But the broad average calls for above normal temperatures. As far as rainfall, and again, I have a 20% coverage tomorrow to about 6 p.m., but that jumps to a 50% coverage tomorrow evening. Did you get that? Otherwise, back down Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week. And then as that wave moves in, we ought to see about a 30 to 40% coverage at this point for late next week, followed by lower chances uh, the following weekend. Otherwise, taking a look at the upper levels of the atmosphere, all this red is high pressure. It's weak. The stronger high pressure has moved off to the west. We're watching moisture in the uh, atmosphere, trough of low pressure, coupled with a frontal boundary moving into our area late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. That should trigger scattered, possibly numerous showers and storms. And then lower chances as we head on into the first half of next week. Then we're gonna be watching this trough of low pressure move back into Texas off the Gulf of Mexico. Look at all the green, weak high pressure off towards our west. And that, uh, in what we call an inverted trough, will bring us scattered showers and storms coming up late next week. So some moving in the right direction as we head towards Thursday and Friday. So tonight, everything winding down with a loss of daytime heating. We expect skies to become mostly clear, probably the mid-70s lakes, mid to upper 70s and lower 80s in the triangle. Then for tomorrow, we'll go with highs in the upper 90s to near 100. I think these temperatures are too hot on this model. So a 20 to 30 percent coverage coming up by tomorrow evening. Let's take a look at tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Look at that. And it may be overdone, but there's uh, some uh, much needed rainfall in the forecast coming up tonight. And again, these storms could produce quite a bit of lightning and also wind with them. There is a marginal risk of severe weather tomorrow evening. On the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow, looking at slightly choppy seas around two feet. We'll see southwest winds at 10 to 15 knots. High tides at Sabine Pass at 7.59 a.m. and 5.41 p.m. Water temperature at 88. Our forecast tonight, things winding down. We're looking at mostly clear skies. Could be some more patchy fog up in the lakes, mid-70s mid there, and into the upper 70s to lower 80s in the triangle. Winds will be turning west ahead of that approaching front. A heat advisory will be in effect tomorrow. This is until about 6 p.m. We'll go to the 20 to 30 percent coverage. Again, I can't emphasize this enough. Rain chances do increase to a 50, 60 percent coverage tomorrow evening. Near 100 in the lakes, upper 90s in the triangle. And then after that uh, rain moves in tomorrow evening, we'll go with just a 20 percent coverage on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, low chances, highs mid 90s rather than the upper 90s to 100. Then as that uh, moisture and uh, trough axis moves on in by uh, Thursday and Friday of next week, we'll see rain chances go up. High temperatures come on down to near normal for this time of year, about 93, 94. And then as we head towards the following weekend, the 28th and 29th, as we get ready to say goodbye to July, rain chances go down and high temperatures start warming up a bit. Download our app 
Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.